50 kilometers left for this afternoon. I'm surprised because we're actually going down in altitude, but it's still uh, it, it's it's really it's really chilly. It's really cold. Let's go 60 kilometers to a random lodge somewhere on the way to Nairobi. Hello and welcome to Real Estate Trends Show. Uh, this is where we discuss all things real estate. And in our team today, we have... Uh, my name is Wainaina Michelle. Okay, okay, my name is Joanne. Hello guys, I'm Kevin Mbugwa. Awesome, so that is my panel. So guys, uh, there is this tourist, if I may say, uh, he is called Kinu Ives. I am not sure if I'm pronouncing his name very well. He is from France. Uh, since I'm not, I'm not a French-speaking person, he's from France. He left France two years ago in a tricycle. So I'll, I'll just show you some of the experiences. He, he landed in Kenya this year. Uh, He's been in Kenya, traversing the country. He goes from country to country. So he left France two years ago. His intention is to traverse the whole world. Interesting, right? <laughs> uh, so his intention is to traverse the whole world. Uh, he'll be back in France in about five to seven years. Damn. Can you imagine? That's a lot uh, of years. I know, right? Like, yeah. How crazy is that? Let's have a look at this video. This is one of the videos uh, that he is on his YouTube page. So he's taking people on his tour across the world. And let's see this. Morning, my friends. From uh, Tetura Lodge. About 90 kilometers away from Nairobi. And today, let's go to Nairobi, guys. Look at this beautiful this place. This is how he's been riding the whole time. Bye. Just it look, perfect. It looks so awesome. Bye. Uh, I, right? I left the key I on the door. I thought so too, Michelle. Okay. Uh, I, I left the key on the on the door. There. So, so what okay. do you guys think? First of all, what's your comment bye on bye. traversing <laughs> the whole time. world <laughs> with a tricycle? <laughs> it's very interesting on how the guy just sat down came up with the budget of all that all that and the most of it all i think well, it's somehow tiresome if you're not prepared mentally with how you're going to uh, meet different climatic changes mm. different people uh, thoughts the environmental hostility it really requires something uh, deep that you have to have a deep thought about it does it does joan would yeah. you do that uh, personally for me i don't think i can but for him maybe he has the confidence of doing such so just okay with him <laughs> right yeah. let me let me yeah. tell you there's another video there's another video of him uh he gets an accident oh yes yeah, yeah. i was seeing that part. Yes, and it was yes. actually shocked. The people are so nice to him. <laughs> they are. Yes. They are. I was expecting something bad to happen, and I'm like, oh, wait, they're actually helping him. <laughs> it's you interesting. See, people, 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 uh, let, let us take let us take this differently. What if it was an African trying to <laughs> to ride the bicycle? <laughs> by accident accidentally the guy gets an accident what will these kenyans uh, feel like they want to help him yeah i actually saw a comment uh on his video that someone said people are saying that, it, that he was helped because he's a foreigner but yeah, someone but... else said that he was that's basically the nature of kenyans but yeah it it is true in some ways but you can also be skeptical, especially now, that anyone can attack yeah. you from anywhere. That from was anywhere. my first thought, actually. Right? <laughs> yeah. And then he left his bags on the road. 
and and went, went and I was like wait <laughs> go by <Yeah. laughs> <He left. laughs> I feel you I feel you on that it's unfortunate that uh, the bug didn't uh, meet a wrong guy but yes. with the character yeah. of with the character of the current Kenyans my friend no, <laughs> you see, it's yeah. not like Switzerland where you can have your food, forget your wallet there or your phone, and the moment you come back, you'll just find it on the shelf there, kept by one of the workers in the hotel or the restaurant. But with the current character of the Kenyans, it's very interesting how the bag was left, and still you'll find the bag well intact if it was a camera inside money still there i saw this video of a woman she had been hit by a car and then she was left on the road and people were passing her and that's like after i've seen this video and i'm like oh, at least I to go and help her and i'm like ah. and the and the cars are just passing her and i'm like that's so bad yeah. it's terrible most of the african guy will be nice to someone from the diaspora but after them helping this guy they were like to pay a to kidogo and maybe they were like hey we have helped you can we have something small now because an african won't help yeah. you for free for free not all yeah, that's the i mindset. don't want to be so free. yeah that's the mindset of an african child so so the guy actually went to some restaurants along the way and he was i wonder how many hotels he's been sleeping in uh, because he said between Nanyuki and Nairobi, he had to have a stopover uh, before he got to Nairobi. Uh, but it's interesting how such foreigners show, you know, they end up selling uh, these the hotels. Country. Yeah, yeah, and the country really. Yeah. Uh, and the hotels that they yeah, stay they in. Nairobi. I wonder I if he right. gets any yeah. payments. Be because this is something that influencers would have him, you know, they would demand for pay to show that, hey, I stayed here. That's why I was saying it's something that requires some deep thought before you venture into it. Because you can imagine how much this guy has <laughs> the, in terms of liquidity, the amount of money that this guy has been keeping just to do this transversing and visiting places enjoying he's actually he's actually an engineer oh yeah he was saying he's working yeah so he's working by moving or... <laughs> yeah. maybe it's sorry, online sorry. you know oh sorry yeah say, but <laughs> suppose i'm the one now going outside i have to take a flight the amount of the flight will charge me together with the time that I'm going to take in that country will be much more. So you can imagine this guy is going to live away from the family or from the country for seven good years. Seven years. How much is that? Seven years. Seven years. Huh. So, and you can, for the short period that the guy has been in our country, I'm sure it's worth some good thousands of money that he has already spent. True. Let us not pretend that the guy used the the, the that motorbike from the place he was up to this uh, up to uh, into our actually camp. he has kevin he has except for moments where either he's in a space where there are water bodies or it's not secure uh, for him uh, like in ethiopia there was a part where there were bandits so he had to use a vehicle before he got into Kenya. But if he is in a safe place, he is cycling his bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> I thought when cross borders, there are some guys lying inside of the car. Yeah. Or the bus station he allow me with the border. I think he, he, he did his research or he does his research. For example, if he's in Kenya now and he's going to Uganda, he finds yeah. out what do I need to figure out at the border. But you know also African borders the way they are. You just need to find your way, find someone, talk to them nicely, and you are... And just move. Yeah. Jail, just, just say the truth. You don't have to find someone and talk to them. So the yeah. truth is, this guy will have to corrupt all on the border. 
that is the nature of the world now. It's the nature of the law. There's no way someone will allow you into their country without showing, because I'm sure this guy can't be passing by the border while riding the bicycle. Now, and these security guys are just like, just pass you. We have no problem with you. I had a conversation with the with some ladies who went to South Africa via road mm -hmm. from Kenya. So <laughs> they used the bus from here to Tanzania, from Tanzania to uh, Botswana. No, to Zambia, then to Botswana, then to South Africa. And they had a terrible experience in the Zambia border. It's everywhere. Yeah. 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 On to the next. Uh, did you guys see the leaking videos on JKIA? Yes, yeah. I did. We saw it. <laughs> it was it was actually embarrassing. <laughs> like for real, guys. This is Terminal One C. That's how it's raining. It's leaking all over. Even to the counters, just check how about this is Tamil 1C, while operations are ongoing. Very, very serious. Damn serious. And you know what the government said? What I couldn't comprehend is, I mean, the rains, this El Nino is just exposing quite a lot about our country. And it's how... True. <laughs> how we are not prepared for natural disasters or natural <laughs> events but first of all jka is an international airport yeah what do you mean we have <laughs> leaking ceilings and the people are just going on about i was actually seeing the video i, I went further and, and saw on twitter and they were just some of them were just going on about their business while, while it's leaking. And I'm like, hey, that's minding their own business in their own way. <laughs> Kenyans have adopted that way until it's like, uh, this is just normal, you see? Yeah, it's but just, I think yeah, but it's not. We Kenyans, we Kenyans, we, are, we have adopted problems until we are like, uh, this is not a problem. Let us just continue with what you are doing. After all, I will go to my place, eat, sleep, come back tomorrow. You are okay. But what so you is that? Yeah. What is, it's not bad. You see, what is amusing me, this El Nino has been there. All these environmental disasters have been there before I was born, before I saw the sun. But something funny, man, has been poured into such activities, but nothing has been ever happening at ever the cost. And I'm sure with this kind of infrastructure, the JKA, man has been stolen, but you just find it has been audited by our very our very unlearned auditors that this has been done, this has been done, and is given something to pocket. It's something that I see in some of the offices the moment you walk in, and that is the case. So let us just blame our leaders. Our leaders. This, but then this the leaders themselves are blaming the other leaders. The no, other no, government. No, no, yes. No, 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 no. no. Let yeah. us just blame our leaders. That's there's no leader. way. I will, there's no way. You see, the moment I will mess up at my at our home place, our home ground, mm -hmm. there's no way they will start saying Kevin messed up. They will say the parents of Kevin are aren't <laughs> taking care of this guy. They didn't so we raise you our, well. Yeah, our leaders are the ones messing up, messing us up, putting us on the list of shame every now and then. There are scandals everywhere. There are projects that they never finished, but money was poured in. So it's like no. What shall we? Everyone is like, if I get money, I just have to steal, and I don't yeah. have to mind what other people love to say. I don't have to serve what the other people's yearning, yeah, the desire of people's heart. <laughs> yes, when they take money from the developments that they are supposed to do for us, as in, we're the ones to suffer, we're the ones to go down, as in, yeah. Yeah, it's very unfortunate, but they say there will be an upgrade. So that's also another opportunity for people to sift on money from. Uh, it, the government will, <laughs> will allocate more money to upgrade uh, JK, and then, you know, the money will disappear as always, as Kevin is saying. <laughs> but that is, but that is very unfortunate. 
it is you see even before the el nino started in I, I saw a post, they were saying they're giving out money for boats for the people in coast. Where are they now? People are drowning and there's no boats to be seen. So you see, and these people are just comfortable. Too much greed. Yeah, it, mm-hmm. It's like nothing is happening. We are not losing innocent citizens' lives. It's like uh, yeah. we are just normal. After all, God for us all and man for himself. Surely. Every time the government has, I think if for example, in Kenya, if our government and they would just be diligent enough with all the monies that they keep taking, like even the Garissa road that tore apart yeah. because of the rains, causing yeah. people to die, you know, and accidents and all these other issues, if they were very diligent, even if they still money, they still, you know, in a in an interesting <laughs> way, a little. Yeah. But if they were diligent to actually see through these projects, our countries would be so our country would be so far ahead. Because it's I mean, true. what is this? <laughs> I know. It's, I it's wish we were just, just independent in nineteen ninety four rather than nineteen sixty three. Because those countries like Singapore, which got independent recently, South Africa, even though there are some programmers that they are facing, but they are much far better than us. It's true. Yeah. Why were we getting independence in 1963? But I think the more the more money you get, the more greedier you become. So yeah. you lose touch mm-hmm. with the common one, ain't you? So when they tell you their road is not nice. You don't really care because care. big deal. When they tell you that the airport is not okay, you use private jets and <laughs> helicopters. Yeah. They come and pick you. So big deal. You won't be rained on anyway. So it, it you become detached from these issues that really affect the, the citizens. But yeah, the El Nino has really shown a lot of a lot of you know mis misdoings that are happening in our country. I person I think that accidents do happen, you know, and it's how you handle those accidents that like determine now the country. Like now there are people flooding, but what are they doing to help the people? You see, they should focus on now. Like, what are you doing? What are you trying? If the JK, JK, I, yeah, they, yeah, they should just say, you know, it was an accident, and we have seen that what we need to change, and they change it, and they and they make sure that we know that we have changed. Like, be it's owning, just own it. Right. They should own it and fix it. What are they doing to the people who are being flooded? How how are they going to live? Their children, what? How are they living? You know, there are a lot of issues that comes with flood, a lot of diseases. Like they should help yeah. them own it and help and do something about it. Uh, for me, I can say that they should just avoid blaming each other and just put the things in action instead of blaming each other and it cannot help anywhere. Agreed. Kevin? My point is, Elina has been there. I heard that it was then, was it in 1997 or 1990 what? Yeah. Sometimes back. Then whatever, whatever, the, whatever that was caused by the flash floods that were there, I think that was the moment when our country, our country's leaders were supposed to come up with the mm-hmm. best measures to mitigate such mm-hmm. kind of actions. Yeah. I, in fact, they were supposed to have constructed a lot of dams to prevent such. They were supposed to have because they know now these are the subs how, how do you call them these are the areas that are susceptible to such kind of scenarios yeah. so the moment you are now carrying up oh, oh we are going to have El Nino we are going to have now it's happening there's nothing being done after there we are going to have a dry season people will forget we shall move on when El Nino will come we are going to have El Nino nothing will happen until we will die we will have our grand grandchildren there still talking of the same stories so I don't know who will come and save our country. Well, you shaming. may. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Let you it, may. Let it. <laughs> but, but the question is, when you get there, Kevin, will you change your heart or will you still stick to <laughs> Will you still stick to you see, I believe in one this thing. This moment. <laughs> Money. Money will just try to bring out the inner character of someone. So the moment we men get into that position, we, we forget every challenge that everyone is facing and 
we are just we alone so yeah. i think everyone is praying for wisdom and let it be so that if i will be there and reach to that point let me not forget other cities we will remind you up. we will remind <laughs> we will send you this this video or, or you love to play this video yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put me on the ship on the list of gym absolutely and you know at the other <laughs> time michelle will be you know a managing editor somewhere so Amen. she will play it a thousand times you know some of those roads that have broken there will be we will be getting bills that approve the payment of reconstruction of the same and then they do a substandard job anyway we'll have a conversation on roads some other time there was a governor who went to launch a bridge which was made of wood a whole governor <laughs> i have never moved on from that <laughs> I have never, and it's actually anyway it's it's fine anyway Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Kevin. Okay. Thank you, John. Uh, until next time, stay tuned for more interesting commentary conversations with interesting groups of individuals on what is happening on the real estate space. Thank you.